Welcome back to the Old Iron Lover channel. Uh, my name is Bob and we are proceeding with part two of the series on uh, the overhaul of the uh, Harbor Freight Blast Cabinet. In the last episode we got a lot of little miscellaneous stuff done and got the hopper uh, rebuilt, modified, and uh, basically most of the stuff below the cabinet is, is pretty much done now. And we're going to get on the cabinet next. We're going to make a, some modifications to the cabinet itself as far as holes and no holes and things. Uh, we're going to uh, get, uh, let's see, get some of the baffling fixed so the, the uh, air flows correctly. Um, I don't know how far we'll get in this, but we'll probably uh, get the lighting put in and the new window uh, attachment hardware. I'm not sure what else we'll come up with, but that's the general idea. So anyway, without further ado, let's uh, get on with it. The next piece I'm going to do is the uh, the door shields, and I've already got it started. Basically, there's the, the door, and this is the inside of the door. There's a bunch of recesses and things in here that catch stuff. So this is to smooth it all out so the the media just comes flying down off of here. I had to trim it out a little bit right here on the corners uh, so it fit nicely in there. And I'll come along and caulk all these edges so nothing gets in behind it. And in the meantime, we got a 5 30 seconds drill bit. I'm just going to rip through all these. Okay, that shield is in. It's kind of open on the bottom, but all the way around the tops of all these and the sides, I'm going to caulk them. We'll get to that later on. And since I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead, just in the interest of not losing track of the parts, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, uh, hinge back on. Okay, this piece here um, sits on the back of the cabinet, covers up the ventilation hole, and so it forces air to come up and out. Uh, originally, I think they, Harbor Freight had it designed as an, as an air inlet. Um, this is going to be an air outlet when we get done with it. And what we're going to do is at the top of it is a ledge. There we go. The top of it's a ledge, and that's... Uh, that's going to catch, you know, piled up media, which is going to have to be cleaned off. So I'm going to build a little 45 degree steel piece and uh, rivet it on here, in some fashion. I may, uh, I may weld that little piece on there. I don't know yet. Got to go find some steel. Okay. Well, the air handling is uh, modified somewhat now, or will be. The air will now come in on the left side of the cabinet and there will be a, a baffle provided by uh, uh, the coma company and it will go across the cabinet and into the right rear where this baffle which was which originally there uh, and the uh, air will go in here and out through a, a gated uh, hole in the back of the cabinet and what I did is I added this beveled piece on here so any uh, uh, grinding media, dust, whatever gets on here, it'll just flop, fall off and down into the hopper. It won't be a, a ledge to catch things. We're back with the chiseling again to uh, take out some more rivets and replace them with rivets coming out the other direction. So take the heads off of a couple and replace them and then take the heads off a couple more and so on. Where the, there's the plug fit up ready for welding. Uh, probably won't show the welding since uh, everything I should try to show in welding doesn't really show up right. So anyhow, um, we'll come back to it once it's welded and the welds ground down. Well, there's too much stuff in the way of the MIG welder and TIG welding and all that stuff, so, but the gas torch was right handy. So 
haven't welded with the gas for quite a while. It's probably good to do everything once in a while. Okay, off camera, I, uh, I'm doing two things, or three or four things, I don't know, some things. Uh, I did uh, get the hopper mounted up on the bottom of it, got the legs put back on, and then uh, mounting, after a while mounting the hopper, uh, there's two little screws on each side of this, uh, this little funnel. That's got the threaded adapter that the uh, valve that controls the flow of media uh, attaches to. So anyway, uh, so got that done. I uh, went around and uh, did a quick touch-up paint on everything, so uh, uh, it just kind of looks better. Probably won't look better after a short time of using it anyway. And then uh, inside, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I actually painted the inside white. And that is to uh, reflect more light. And there you can see the rear baffle in place and then the little uh, uh, slope piece on top here to shed the uh, media. And on this side, um, we got uh, the new uh, air inlet ba uh, baffle where the air is coming in uh, that's being pulled out by the ventilation system. So, uh, got the little uh, gray strip you see there is the outer edge of the ceiling, uh, the two-sided tape that goes in between the two. And I may go ahead and add a, a layer of caulk to the outside or wherever, yeah, probably the outside, I don't know. And uh, these screws that hold that, the two halves, the top and the bottom together, um, really probably don't need any treatment because there's going to be a cuff kit's going to come around here and cover that up. Now, possibly the upper screws on that mount the legs on, we might want to grind the heads down smooth on those, but we'll see when we get there. Okay, um, so the lighting is going to consist of four of these um, lights here. <coughs> They're fairly bright. They're intended to be backup lights on a truck or a trailer. They are uh, about I'd say about six inches long and uh, a couple inches wide on the, the outside, other than the flange that mounts on. Everything is sealed underneath, um, so it should be pretty good and it's shaped so it should, since they're going to be mounted up under the top of the cabinet like that, uh, so they'll be mounted up under the top of the cabinet so it should shed, uh, shed the uh, media dust pretty well going to be powered by a used uh, computer power supply and uh, it's going to have a switch here to turn it on and off. Each light is going to have its own set of uh, 12 volt feeds to it and that's just mostly because of wire size. I just want to make sure I have enough wire size. And just to finish it off there's going to be a, a little pilot light to tell me the power is on to the power supply. The plan right now is to put one light up under here and uh, I created a little paper template. So there's the two mounting holes and the square cut out for the wires coming off of the back of it. So there'll be a light sitting here, one on the other side, and then either a pair sitting up here 
or maybe across here. And what I'm going to do is put the two side lights on, and then uh, get them lighted up and see what you know how they look. And then uh, I'll get the uh, with my hands in there and the lights turned out in the shop and everything. I'll get the uh, the other two and just kind of hold them in place and move my hands around in the gloves and things to see what kind of shadows and things happen from it. So anyway, um, it'll be a little bit of experimentation, but ultimately there'll be four of those lights mounted inside of here. Okay, I'm making a, the, made a template at the bottom of the lights and uh, made it out so. And I used my step drill to cut the basic holes there, and I'm going to take the Dremel and clean up the piece between the holes. And I may, actually, I think I may take it down one more notch. Seven sixteenths, I may go down to half there. Now I'll drill some 3 16 holes in there. Okay, I just threw a, a, a tarp over it and everything so we could see what we're doing uh, when it's when it's actually covered up and the shop lights are turned out. Got uh, pretty good visibility in here. I think it's actually going to work pretty well. Okay, time to do a quick review of what we've done so far uh, in the last few minutes, last hour or two. Uh, number one is I got the uh, shelf down here put back on. Not a big deal, just eight bolts. I uh, got the wiring all kind of mocked up going over to the power supply. Ultimately there'll be a box mounted here that's got the switches and the junctions and everything and the power supply will be mounted probably right on the back or somewhere right close anyway. Got the uh, rings that hold the gloves installed. And you can see I finished them all with uh, acorn nuts so they don't uh, look, pretty, um, don't look a, a, as obvious. Got 
got the uh, door latch installed. Door hinge installed. And all of the uh, trimming down around the edges here so it would slide in, slide into the opening smoothly. Got the uh, weather strip put in. It's a little thick, but the, the, the gap is not real even. The door swings out just a little bit, goes out right here. But when you squeeze it all in tight with the latch, I don't see any daylight showing through there. That doesn't mean the dust can't get through, but it's it's got most of it. I'm ready to put some of the I guess you'd say the finishing touches on it as far as I can go. I'm still waiting for the cuff kit. Um, they had some manufacturing problems with that. And it's, uh, it's on its way probably, but anyway, uh, first thing I'm, I'm going to add is this metering valve for the, uh, the media. needs to be heated up. Nozzles in. I took care of that piece. Now my plan is to have the dust collection system on the right side of it. It's fairly low. It's a Donaldson box. It's about this high, and so the door will clean and clear it and everything. So, and it'll be a little short hose in too. The uh, only two things I have left now is I got to wait for my conduit, that uh, plastic duct, for the wiring and the box that I use to put all the wiring connections in. I'll have to build a mount for the uh, power supply and mount it on the back of the cabinet somewhere. And then I need to get the uh, cuff kit, as I mentioned before, and we were ready to put this thing back to work. I'm going to come right off of my air supply so I don't have any restrictions coming into it. Um, 
the, uh, the air throughout the shop is three quarter inch, and I've got four drops I think around the shop, and uh, they all have valves on them to shut them off. And I think I'll do the same thing here. I'll put a valve on it, but it'll be a piece of half inch hose coming over to the regulator. All right, I'm starting to work with the uh, the uh, plastic wire duct here. And uh, what I've done is I've marked off where I want wires to come up inside the, the uh, tube here. And I don't know if you can see the end of it, but it's, it's a channel and it's got a snap-in cap. So um, I'm going to use the mill. So that's uh, that's what we got. Here's the little uh, adhesive strips on the back. Okay, I got the first strip laid in here. I just uh, put these in place so I can see about where they need to be. I got to do the same thing on the other ends. So the could be a T right here. I want to take it about there. Okay, I got the left one stuck down and I'm getting ready to do the right one. looks pretty darn nice. Now I need to get this over and I've got to figure out what I'm going to put the box. I've got a little short piece to put here and then the T and then I have a piece to come over the edge. Okay when it comes to the front one here I'm going to just come down a little bit and make a turn and then come around the corner and we'll figure out how to get into the back of the of the uh, box is going to be up here. I don't know exactly where that box is going to be. But I need a little short piece and a 90. And then a longer piece and then another 90 that goes around the outside corner. Okay, well I had the camera turned off. Uh, got this piece cut and glued down. And then when I go around the corner this will snap on it and uh, cover that corner up. And I've got to get another elbow and an end cap and some other pieces. So. That's it for uh, part two of this video series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please give me a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. And if you uh, want to leave a comment you think I'd like to hear, well, please do that too. And until we get to the third and final episode, uh, happy trails.